What's up, everybody? It's your girl T Green coming back at you, and I have my special guest. Hey, <laughs> this is my hubby, and we are vacationing in Austin today. And we went over to have dinner, and oh my God, <laughs> we're not gonna bring y'all in on this conversation. <laughs> So anyway, we just finished having dinner. We actually <laughs> stop. We actually um, came back uh, to a place across the freeway from the hotel that we're staying in, and we're actually we're not staying in Austin. We're staying in Round Rock, which is not that far, about maybe 15, 12 to 15 minutes from um, Austin. Anyway, there's a place across the street, and it's called Kirby Lane Cafe. Okay, we. <laughs> You can start over again? No, I'm not. Okay, no. Oh, my God. I need to do a blue for real. <laughs> for real. Anyway, we we went um, to a Kirby Lane Cafe. And we were just looking for somewhere to eat. We kind of had a few plans or whatever. And so we decided to go and see what their menu looked like. When I tell you I went in there and I'm going to do screenshots and video footage and everything of the restaurant and the menu and all that. But I was completely, completely surprised at the number of vegetarian, vegan options that they have on their menu. So much so that our waiter, and I will have to insert his name because we don't remember right now, but he was the sweetest guy. Our waiter um, even brought over, they have like a little mini menu and it's um, gluten-free options on one side and vegan options on the other side. But he was just too sweet, too sweet for words. And so anyway, Stop. Okay. <laughs> You're going to be watching my channel, so you need to quit. Um, so anyway, uh, after we finished, we ordered, you know, we had a vegan queso. And it, I think it was cowboy style, I believe. It had black beans and uh, guacamole and queso and all. I mean, uh, pico de gallo salsa in it. And it was so good. But I got full off of that, so I have a salad that I haven't even touched. So he came to our table a few times and talked to us and stuff. And so after we finished eating, he came back and he started explaining to us that there there's a program that they have where they comp people's checks for different reasons. And part of our conversation with him was the fact that we we're from Houston. Um, you know, we both had days where we couldn't go to work and, you know, we were just looking at different situations. And my husband's going through something um, with his employer right now because they're refusing to pay him. And so all of this just kind of came out in our conversation with him, not to try to get our check comp because we didn't know anything about it until we got ready to pay. And that's when he came over and told us that his manager decided that we were not going to be paying our bill. And I just... Yeah, it kind of floored us. Kind of surprises came out of nowhere. Um... um You know, there's a lot of things going on right now in Houston and all around the world. And then you still get kindness out of people and out of nowhere. For, I ain't going to say for no reason because it's in them. What's in them going to come out. If it's kindness in them, kindness will come out. And that was... I'm, I'm still... I'm, yeah. I'm trying so hard not to cry because he didn't have to do that. No. He didn't, he didn't have to say a word to his manager, but he told his manager not only about the fact that we're from Houston and about the fact that, um, you know, different stuff that's going on with us. And we were not trying to give him a sob story. We have, we have money to pay the bill, but we were just sharing our stories of stuff that's been going on with Harvey and, you know, just how heartbreaking it is, you know, and how fortunate we were. And just out of the kindness of his heart, he went and mentioned it to his boss. And then he told her that this weekend is my birthday. And mm. I I have no words. I have no words. I mean, there is still so much good in the world. I have no words. So I'm going to say, if you're ever in Round Rock, mm -hmm. if you're ever in Round Rock, make sure you go to Kirby Jane. Kirby, Kirby, Lane. Kirby Lane Cafe. Please do. And he did uh, give us a little tidbit of information. He said that they have already purchased land in Houston to open a Houston uh, location 
for Kirby Lane Cafe. Um, they have not broken ground on the land, and it won't be, he said, probably till sometime, uh, mm -mm, he said 2019. Um, but right now, with all the flooding and everything that's going on, I'm not really sure what that means for their plans as far as when. But he said that they, he did confirm that they are still coming to Houston. And his objective, and I want to share this with you all, because it doesn't matter what industry you're in, you can always have hopes and dreams of aspiring to be more than what you are. Mm. He recently was promoted to shift manager, and his dream is to become a regional trainer. And he's excited about that because he's looking forward to them opening that store in Houston because the restaurant in Houston, because he's hoping that by the time they open, he would have already made regional trainer so that he can actually come to Houston and train the staff at that location. And I think that would be awesome because if he trained them to be anything like what he is, their customer service is going to be off the chain. He is such an awesome person. And the manager, I kind of motioned to her to come over to me because I just wanted to thank her. And she just immediately came over with open arms to give me a hug. I mean, there was no hesitation whatsoever. So I'm going to insert pictures of us with our waiter. And I'll have to put his name in. I feel so guilty now because I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, but also um, the picture that I took with the manager. Mm. And I just want to say to Kirby Lane Cafe... Stacy and Tony Green, we really appreciate your generosity. We appreciate everything that you did for us tonight. You did Austin Round Rock proud. You all, this city, we have seen nothing but a bunch of signs and stuff everywhere about helping out um, Texas and, you know, because of Hurricane Harvey and all that. And it is just amazing how you guys are just pouring your hearts out and opening your arms and taking care of your fellow Texans. So, from us to you, thank you. Thank you very much. I didn't hear you. Hey, y'all. How are you? Uh, Hi. Is this the two Mm-hmm. Who's a cute player? Have you ever been here before? No, uh-uh. Um... We are a 24-hour dinner. Uh, we serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So one of the things, you know, I always have to be concerned about is if they're actually going to have something on the menu that I can have. So one, they have this good seed veggie burger. And as you can see, what it is. But they also have the fried avocado tacos. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and then they have... Um, they have classic or vegan queso with hummus and pita, sweet potato fries. And then they have a uh, red quinoa salad. Oh, that sounds good. Quinoa, black beans, corn, pico, mixed greens, tomato, queso, fresco. Yeah. And this is a restaurant called Kirby Jane's in Austin. Way to go, Kirby Jane. Okay, I had to come back and show y'all this. Look at what they got for breakfast. They have the tofu scramble with veggies, nutritional yeast, special vegan pancakes, two good seed breakfast patties. Oh, Lord. I'm just going to have to hook y'all up with the whole menu. Check that out. Breakfast bake it, basics, pancakes. This is awesome. I'm glad we stopped here. Thank you, Stacy. I know my husband said talking about thank you, Stacy, when this was my suggestion <laughs> to check it out. He wanted to do something different. So this is the vegan queso. It's cowboy style with black beans, guac, and pico de gallo. Red chips. Yeah.